I'm gonna take the uh, dead wood harvester here. Yep. And I'm gonna stick it on to um, So you've made two purchases from here. So you're not gonna be able to buy any more. Yes. We'll replace the things. And then Atticus's go. Alright. So that's Yeah. Four also does nothing. So I'm going to push. Yep. Because that will get me up to possibly five. If you're lucky. Oh. You're not lucky. And you've already got your symbol. So you can't do anything with that. Right, so I've got two, three, four, five, six. And a bear claw. Um, is it worth pushing to seven? No, none of the sevens are out. So with six, I will buy. Um, hmm. I'm going to buy this fella for at home. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. Uh, and put it on this card, which has, oh, not in the back again. Gives me one growth uh, on the card. And then I'll replace it with a moon wolf. Oh! I used to be a werewolf. Did but you? I'm alright now. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> Taliesin wonders which one of us is going mad. <laughs> not I. Right. I'm deliberating whether or not to push, simply because it would amuse do me. Do it. Do it. Well, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six money. What does the feral chieftain do? Uh, he gives you points for guardian symbols. But you don't have a lot of guardian symbols. No guardian symbols. But you're never going to get them with that attitude. Well, that's true. <laughs> but what I really well, want... What card are you going to put it on, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, there's a good point. Um, I push. Ooh. Right, that's my top deck. Do yep. I shuffle this now? Uh, only if you're going to push. Um, well, now I've got six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't count, so seven. seven. Eight, seven. Yeah, you've got seven, seven points. I will continue to seven push. Mana. Whoa. Taliesin was built this deck for pushing, yo. <laughs> so this comes over, right? Yeah, so that's in your field. And then you're going to get a new on deck card. Yes. On deck. That sounds like a. It sounds like we should be playing a space game. <laughs> I feel like I should salute. <laughs> I feel like card it should be deck. like a new sprouting card. You should write in and tell Mr. Dear Claire AEG <laughs> and Mr. Uh, Claire. John D. Claire, designer of this game. You could have involved me in what the process. I well, have many good ideas about <laughs> Declare, <druids. terrible. laughs> I started it, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come back. I wonder how you prototype a game like this, you know? Do you just write it on, like, bits of cellophane? I but... think you play Gloom and think, this would be good as a deck builder. Yes, very possibly. But it's very hard to... Behold how I have avoided that. Also, now I've turned over my... Do I... If I play her now... Then you get to discard before you're... Right, well, I should do that. Okay, and then you can get rid of one of your cursed lands. Eh. For example... So that goes to your discard. Bye-bye. Yep. And then... Same difference. So I could actually push again. You could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus one, eight. Are you, Those, are you going all for the, the nine, yeah. Nine. This is also worth victory points, and it would but get me... But it's not worth any mana. But it would get me more of those thingies. All right, push. You need that one for your nine. <laughs> push. Save. You done it. <laughs> I hold there. <laughs> so now I've got a bear claw and a sun sprout. That is not a combination that you... A bear claw and a sun... Uh, not sun... Ah, oh, yeah, sun sprout. The sun, sun, sun bursts, sun sunburst. shines, sun. Yeah. I was like, Sprout, that's a green one. I was like, oh. Someone needs to start buying these stag cards. I nominate you. Second so disc. Yeah. What's this? Harvest. Gain two victory points for each guardian symbol on this card. 
God damn it. Um, I get three victory points, Why are right? you, you stopping there? Well, no, I'm going to buy. Oh, yeah, you're, you're no longer pushing. Don't tempt me, man. <laughs> what are you going to push for? There's nothing. There you go. Three points. Three points. Just take it. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll take it back if you want. No, no, I'll right. stop pushing. Done. Tallyson knows when to stop pushing. He's <laughs> a push veteran. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also going to buy a stag. All right, first one gone. I'm just trying to think if I want the one on top or the one on bottom. Um, right, well, I should buy... Oh, I can't put it on this damn seedling nope. card. That's garbage. Why did I put the seedling there? That's stupid. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. What I really want is to put the stag on the blank card. You don't. Why well, you'd have to push to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Right. Spent all your money. A calm weather. Nice. That's the card you want. Right. <laughs> oh, excitingly, two mana. Two. You want a fertile soil? Or... Uh... Push, push, I'm push, push again. Yeah. It's not going well for you, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that is a waste of turns. Um, I will. I've only got two as well. Um, but I can't do anything much better with three, so I don't suppose it really matters. Um, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to push because I'm not going to get another go. <laughs> Done. Shazammed. Tallyson thinks that you're being needlessly pessimistic, <laughs> despite the fact he's playing through his whole deck at this moment. Every single time, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's what cheating gets you. <laughs> he's probably playing it right now. Well, yeah, I am. I... You only have to cheat the ones to get the like seven mana <laughs> early game, and then yeah. you know. Uh, quickly adds up. The good thing about sleeve cards is you can, of course, mass shuffle. Uh, just take the two halves and kind of push them together. They fall apart quite nicely. It is a pleasing so game shuffle. to play with. I will give it that. Um, so I've actually only got uh, no curses out at the moment. Um, yes, correct. So uh, decays, decay symbol is what they are. Decay mm -hmm. symbols symbolizing cursed stuff. There's one, two... <laughs> no. Nope. Oh yeah. 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 So that's your undeck card, not your, not your field. Right. Um. Well, I choose not to push. <laughs> good. Good choice. Um. So I've got one, two, now three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've also got two bear claws and a sunburst. Yep. Um, I can't get anything for that. Do -do -do -do. Now, just to explain the end of game, what will happen here, Mike's now ended the game by getting enough victory points to deplete the pool. Danny will get the last turn because I was first player. I won't get another go, uh, much like I said. <laughs> and uh, then we, we total up the points. I don't think we need to. Not but really. um, <laughs> but we should for the cameras. <laughs> uh, oh, I've not, uh, I forgot to press record. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I just counted these up and then immediately forgot how many yeah. I counted. Tw twelve? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, unless you've got one of those field things out, which you don't, so you have 12. I want the calm weather, but it's totally worthless to me now. It's oh. not totally worthless, but it's close to worthless. Yeah. Um, I feel like the most profitable thing is... Um, I think you can only get... Two victory points out of this. Yeah, but what but I can do is I can activate do. my Sunstone Eerie and pick up another Veil as well. Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, veils are for losers, but, uh, <laughs> you know, 
seeing as I I might as well use the griffin, uh, seeing as how I bought him and everything, or whatever. Um, yeah, so the question is...